So hi everyone, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with our next zodiac sign that is Virgo. Virgo 2022, December. Let's see what we have for Virgos. Okay, so Virgos, here we go. Okay, so Virgos, I feel that you are still a little confused, you know, you feel a little emotional or probably want to offer and come to someone, but you're feeling, it's a conflict of emotions right now in your mind. Uh, yes, you are moving away from a lot of things in life which are not serving you. The first week of December is getting a big change. This change is... Uh, around your I think you're ending a karmic cycle that is what I feel and that karmic cycle is ending and there's a shift and a change coming in your work area okay probably you will do work from overseas you will get into some kind of property dealings or probably become a builder or something like that something to do with property okay Something to do with property you're going to do or probably you're waiting for some results if you're going through a litigation in property you will do well. Uh, there is a end of cycle in the first week and a new beginning because whatever bad karma whatever was there around you were facing issues because of that is ending now. Now a new and a very positive cycle is starting in the first week of December. Second week you are all in your elements you are moving forward you are uh, also in a very happy and a very positive frame of mind in the second week. Third week, there will be a little pressure at work and home both. So pressure at home and work will really give you uh, uh, mental stress. Also keep yourself calm because you will get triggered and angry and probably strike a fight with someone. Uh, you just need to sit back and think. And that's what you're going to do in the third week. You will sit back and think and con contemplate a lot of things in your life. And de to deal with all this pressure in both the areas of your life. Also, I feel Virgos, you need to be a little positive at this time. Like I said, take a lot of salt water bath or probably, you know, uh, read good positive books. Or probably see positive movies, you know, talk to your angels. Be in the nature because it, this time if you are doing all this, you will be able to handle the both the pressures that are coming to you okay now the fourth week fourth week is all about um you will actually have a new beginning again in the fourth week but at the same time you will are going to have a sort of a tower moment in the fourth week like like i've had enough type i think you're going to move on with something new something some other project which will help you build your own uh, work if you're planning to do your own something your own like your own business or single-handedly want to start something because after working probably for other people you feel that you need to work and uh, concentrate on yourself and that is what you're going to do in the fourth week so fourth week is very important for you uh, that is the end of this year and there is that time you will decide that I am going to build my own empire I'm going to build my own palace and you're going to work towards it so this will start with a little small, small steps, building one, 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 one brick, however you will and in a very positive manner. Uh, like I said, the first week is going to get you a end of karmic cycle and second week is all in a happy mood, moving forward, doing your work, being in your element. Um, however, in the third week, you will have a little pressure. Okay. Uh, fourth week again, uh, like I said, when you're ending a cycle, you have you are going to make a lot of decisions and that decision will be only towards yourself that will be your fourth week so yeah it's fairly an amazing month for you where you are ending a lot of karmic past karmic cycles which you were going through and uh, it was a lesson uh, probably you did not uh, you know Virgos sometimes we don't value people around us and this is how we learn so probably you have learned your lesson and now you are ready to start fresh and in an amazing manner in your life right so let's see what you have in your relationship area workers so okay. 
So relationship, I feel you have still not decided where to go. Now your relationship is not going to be only give, give, give. It's going to be give and take, equal balance. You're daydreaming of a relationship where you feel that it should be in a very balanced manner. I'm not going to sacrifice myself for anyone. There is a lot of personal power energy which is a solar plex. You still need, see whenever there are disturbed relationships, the solar plex is always disturbed. And uh, you really need to work on that. So add a lot of yellows in your diet, you know. It will help you balance your solar plex. Uh, like yellow bell peppers or whatever yellow vegetables and fruits will really help you. There is a lot of fear of stability. So you feel that if you are in a relationship or probably in the past you've never been, uh, you know, stable in your relationship and that fear catches to you. So I feel you are coming in healing from those fears and now you are venting out your emotions with people you trust and people you really, really want to, you know, uh, convey to that how you feel about them, right? In the past, you were not ready to see, but now you're moving on. You're moving on from the past toxic relationship. You're moving on from a lot of uh, nonsense from your life and you're manifesting for the person you want to be with, probably you're manifesting a better relationship, even if you're married. Probably you're manifesting that this relationship gets better. Uh, few will manifest from moving on from the relationship they are in and few will find a life partner because there is a lot of healing happening. So as you're releasing these past toxic relationship, you're also healing. So there's a lot of healing beginning and the universe is also in sync with you and helping you. So there's a lot of green, green heart, heart chakra energy. So use as much as green as you can. Probably wear a green crystal or wear, um, you know, be in uh, connection with the plants and trees. And probably the tulsi plant also is very good. You can have a tulsi patta every morning. Mm, yeah, there's a lot of healing in the month of December for you in relationship area. Yeah. So you are now ready to see and acknowledge the truth about your relationship and about your own feelings. And you are going to convey your feelings to someone. So in the month of December, I will say that I am not saying that the relationships are amazing, but definitely you are healing, you are coming out, you are expressing yourself and you are ready to move forward with someone or in a positive way. You are not going to talk, tolerate any toxic relationship anymore in your life. That's a good thing, Bobo. Amazing. Right? Now let me see what we have for you in your fairy message. And from Jan 2023, there won't be any fairy message. There will be only Ganesha says. So Ganesha's mes messages at the end of the reading. Okay. Light. The fairy queen of light comes into the, comes to shed love and light upon your current situation and to remind you that the light can perpetuate the darkness. This is a beautiful message. So definitely whatever dark energy you had up till now, whatever uh, nonsense you had, toxic nonsense you had in your life, but now you're not going to have that. You're going to have light, love and a lot of blessings from uh, this uh, fairy who is a fairy of light. And definitely there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Remember that. So a lot of light coming in your life, Virgo. Yeah. So that was a beautiful reading. And don't forget to subscribe or press the bell icon. You'll be notified every time my video is uploaded. Share it with family and friends. WhatsApp me on email me for paid appointments only. And follow me on Twitter as well. That's all for today. Goodbye. God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye.